you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about a tree on my property. It is called a Hercules Club or sometimes a prickly ash or tickle tongue or toothache tree. Native Americans used the bark to chew on whenever they would have a mouth ulcer or to help with a toothache or they would actually place poultices of it on the body to help with pains there as well. And I'm going to link in the description several articles about it so that you can read up on it yourself. And today I'm going to make a salve out of it. I'm going, well, a cream out of it. It's not a salve. And I'm going to do this by using that bark along with some comfrey uh, and some fantastic oils and butters along with some uh, camphor and menthol to help with the delivery of the chemical within the uh, Hercules Club bark to give temporary relief to minor injuries or pains. Now will this help with major pains? I, I cannot speak to that. I don't really have major pains so I can't really test it for that. But I, as I stated, I'm going to link some articles that you can read on this very topic and I think you'll find those very helpful. I love these trees. They grow on my property and I have both males and females. The tree that I took the bark from is a male. The females actually have the berries and I have put a picture of those here on the video as well. And they are a tremendous plant. They provide shelter for many birds because of all the thorns all over the branches. They do a tremendous job of keeping the uh, predators away from birds. So a lot of them will nest in it. In addition, they eat the berries, the fruits from the tree. And the analgesic effects of it don't affect them. They are fortunate that they can eat them as food without any type of side effects. And that's a wonderful thing. But um, this is something I want to share with you all. I'm making this very affordable. I'm putting it in some little three ounce tubes rather than a bottle. That makes them light, easy to ship. But I think it's something you might find useful. I like to use it on things like bug bites and mosquito stings. It takes the sting and itch away. And that's where I really find them useful. I have heard tale of people who use it for other injuries and pain. Uh, that it absorbs in and helps with those. I don't, again, I can't speak to that personally. My mother was a big fan of this plant and used it, but it's not something that I really have used much, so I can't speak to that aspect of it. I still have some my mother made years ago in a jar and use it for like a sting remover, you know, when you get an ant bite, that sort of thing. And it works really well for that. But um, I hope this is just you'll find this information useful. This may be something you want to make yourself. And um, this isn't the only plant that does this. This is just one that I wanted to introduce you to. I've talked about this along with some of the other plants uh, around my property. And I just thought this would be a fun thing to do for you all. And uh, I hope you find this useful. Okay, let's move on. This was very easy to strain and um, I won't spend a lot of time on that. There's also more comfrey infused oil there, some camphor and menthol as well. And again, these are all fantastic delivery systems to help get this into your subdermis. And uh, it smells wonderful, <laughs> it really does. The tickle tongue actually has kind of a minty smell to it as well. So all of these come together and just create a non-medicinal but very nice fresh smell. And uh, now I did accidentally edit out some of the mixing of this and I apologize for that. Just a camera issue. But I just mix this in with the water and just mix missed part of that uh, filming. I apologize. I split this up into two different batches and 
This is just a delight. It is so creamy and smells so wonderful. And you have to be careful with stuff like this. You don't want to get this in your eyes because, well, it's it'll numb them and you don't want that. Um, you know, if you don't want it on your lips, <laughs> that sort of thing. So you use it with care. Now, I've got these little tubes. I created a little funnel and it doesn't work very well and I'm very messy at it. Um, and that's why there's not going to be much of that here because it was really a headache doing it this way. So I actually stopped and suctioned uh, after this, which isn't on film, the lotion into the tubes. It was much easier than trying to pour it through a funnel and hold the funnel upright. If I were one of those people that had a lot of money, I'd probably have a machine that does this and could do a better job than I. And it doesn't help that these gloves are so big and bulky. I dislike these so much. <laughs> but there's what I had, and I do need to keep this all sanitary and sterile. So I had to have gloves, but those are not my favorite to wear. And the final step was, of course, just to get these labeled up. And I really enjoyed making this. I really did. And I think that uh, this is something you can do, too. Although the plant only grows in the south of the U.S., but if you have it, enjoy. So I hope that this was fun for you all. I had a ball making it. I love creating. And I have a soap that's in the process now, so I should have that video up by tomorrow. And uh, I just want to thank you all. You are fantastic. <laughs> and do keep in mind the Memorial Day sale ends tomorrow for the 30% off. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.